I got a video for you guys. A couple people, well, maybe a, more than a handful of people, maybe 2,600 of you guys, and all those are subscribers, have been messaging me saying, can you do a video on Grandstream PPSK? And today, in my lab, in my new zone, I'm gonna do that. Now, some of you guys might wanna know, what is PPSK? In an easy sense, each password that you set up will get you to each network. So if you have one network, say Jason's lab, I give out or I have three different passwords. I can have one for the private network where I have my lab and then I can have a guest network, which would be a separate password. And when you have those and you give those passwords, you will get connected to those networks. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up with Grandstream very easy i've been running it for a long time kind of thought it would be hard but it's not so today i'm going to show you how to do that first we need to log in and get everything set up and uh hopefully i do it right so let's have a look here i'm going to put me down below here and hopefully i don't get in the way first we need to log into the cloud so gwn.cloud will sign me in we do need to put in my 2FA code because everything that I use is 2FA. There's a couple of things we need to do to get this working first. First, we need to set up a Wi-Fi name. And this name we're going to go to here under settings and under Wi-Fi. We need to create a SSID that is going to be broadcasted to everybody. So I'm going to create Jason's YouTube. We do need to turn that on by pushing Wi-Fi on at the very top since it's turned off. Then we need to go down to access security. And instead of using security type personal, we need to go to PPSK without radius. And then what we do, push OK, done. Oh, we have to add a group. So let's go here and add a group first. We're gonna call this wireless. You can call it whatever you want. We'll go back to save. And now we can select the group and I'm going to show you where that means and or where we go with that after in a second here. But this is the basics right here. We'll go save. Now notice there's no name or there's no password or anything like that in there. But that's we're going to do that next. But before we go too, too far, we have to create another subnet to assign the guests to. So what we do is we go down the LAN. Now I've already created one, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. So we'll go into here. We have a guest network, which is what I set up. The VLAN is 150. We've set that up. Our subnet is 10.0.20.1. You can create whatever you want, but I just use this because it's different than the other subnet that is normal, which is stop subnet that comes with the grand steam because it's just a lad and I change things all the time. So I just left it. But we have a scope from 100 to 200. Simple, 100 IP addresses is plenty for a guest network. And I'm giving them Quad 9's protected DNS with 99911. So then we'll just push save. Done. I might add, there's one more thing you have to do. You have to make sure that your VLANs are set up on the ports that your access points are plugged into. Very, very simple. We need to, we know we have VLAN 150 right here. Now we have to go to devices. And we're doing all my access points are on my main PoE switch at the top here. So in here, we go to the switch, then to port. And you can tell that I have two access points right here. Maybe not, but I do have two access points and they're both powered one and two. And if you notice right here, I have all VLANs set up on here. If you don't have all VLANs on there and you only have it set to main LAN, the guest network won't work. I thought I would show you guys that and I'm going to put that into the video because if it's not, if this doesn't, if this isn't in there, it won't work. Now we can go over and create the, the um, PPSK profile. So we have to go to profiles on the side on the left, down to the bottom here where it says PPSK. Now that wireless network that we just created, this associates with this. So that way we can find it. Then we have to go in here. So right now we're going to go in here. We're going to create a new PPSK. So we're going to create the 
private one first. And this isn't the SSID. This is just the name so we can identify where, the, where the passwords go. Pri pa the private will get one password. The guest will get another password. And that's where this stuff defines. So we're going to call this private LAN. We'll give it password, a basic one. And then this right here allows you how many people can connect to it. I'm just going to give it 100 because we've already given it 100 um, uh, subnets. And notice that the VLAN down here, if you leave it blank, it's going to leave it to go to the private network. So then we'll push save. Done. Now we want to add another one because we want to do the guest. So we'll go add. We'll call this guest network. Uh, password, we'll give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exclamation, exclamation, bang, bang. And we'll give it, say, 50. We could change our subnet to go smaller, but I'm just going to leave it at 50. And down here, if we click this, we'll see that we got guest and voice. We're not going to give it voice because that's for my voice phones that I was playing with. But we'll give it guest. And we'll push yes. And then we'll push save. And save. Done. Now to test this, I'll show you guys here. I'm going to connect to the guest network and then we'll show you that it's connected. Jason's YouTube's already showed up. We'll put in the password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bang, bang. Join. We're connected. I'll get the IP address of 10.0.20.184 and we'll go see if I'm in the list here. Clients. Right there. Right in the bottom, I'm already connected. And it shows me that I'm connected to an access point right here. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. I'm not gonna go over the firewall rules because everybody has certain firewalls, but I'll show you one that I have set up so that way certain devices can't get to um, the gateway and all that kind of stuff. So what I did is I created a simple firewall rule under here. And is it in here? Yep. Wired networks slash SSIDs for guests I've blocked it so they can't get to the gateway um, portal. So um, if you get into a network, you can connect to, say, this network, and I would go to 10.0.20.1 and be able to figure out, oh, it's a grand stream router, or I can try to hammer on the um, portal to get in and create havoc. But I've made it so you can't do that. And if I do that on my phone, it just doesn't go anywhere, and I'll show you. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. But there's nothing there. It just shows you a blank page which to me makes me feel a little better because somebody can't just sit there on the gateway uh, at the gateway and try to get into it. Very easy to do this. There's probably tons of rules. I might step out to Mr. Willie Howe here since he sent me a shirt and he's the one who got me addicted to Grandstream and say, hey, let's do maybe a small Grandstream collab doing firewall rules, what his best practices are, what my practices are. Since mine's a lab, it's always changing. My stuff's never staying the same because I'm always changing things on there. But I want to see if we can do a video with Willie. So for now, someone's going to text me when I'm doing my video, of course. For now, uh, I'm going to cut the video there. And you guys have any questions, hopefully this will help somebody out there. If not, send me a question. My name and email address is below. And uh, like and subscribe. And I just got wind that I got some other goodies coming. So hopefully I got some more content coming for you guys. If you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.